crusty, crunchy, crusty. <laughs> You are highlight guys. I am mixing avocado oil and turmeric. I think I put too much oil. <sighs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you are definitely welcome. Go ahead and join the family. Click on that subscribe button. Come on, come on. I'm looking at you right now. <laughs> so today we are attempting to do something crazy. Crazy, never done before on YouTube, okay? You wanna know what it is? You wanna know? Come closer. We are doing a full face of makeup with only spices and seasonings. Now, let me tell you right now, I have not tried this before. I am trying it with you guys. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't even know if it's gonna look like makeup. But I thought, why not do something fun, interesting, and new? On my channel so it will be really interesting for us to see what we can do with seasonings and I'm so so excited for this and I hope for heaven that I hope for myself for my sake that I'm not gonna end up having a burning face or whatever not JK JK we're not using anything you know that's gonna burn us or anything no I'm not doing that okay so without any further ado let's jump straight into this BAM this is our makeup guys I'll be showing you guys each of them as when I, you know, when I start using each product, I'll just be showing you guys what I'm using. We have avocado oil, we have cinnamon, paprika, maggi cube, baking soda, turmeric, cocoa powder, palm oil. <laughs> ah! I'm just like, I'm, I'm still amazed. I'm still amazed at the idea, okay? Oh, okay. Let's just, let's just get into this, okay? Let's get straight into this. Of course, to start our makeup, we're priming our face today. Bam! We are using avocado oil to prime today. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit into my hand, just like because we don't want our face to be too shiny. So that's like barely a drop. Damn. Yeah, definitely smells like avocado, you know. And then if you want, if you wanna do this, you can definitely use uh, coconut oil or olive oil, anything food, food related. Just don't go get like jojoba or flower oil. We need food. Our face is primed with avocado oil. <laughs> and now we are going to do our brows. For our brows today, guess what we're using? I'm just gonna let you guys take a guess. Take a guess. Between everything I showed you. <laughs> Bam. We're using Maggie Cube. Right there. We're using Maggie Cube. I know, it's crazy. Okay. Just like every normal person would do, okay, we're not gonna do this like we're, you know, yeah, we're still gonna do it like we're actually doing our makeup. I'm gonna grab a spoolie and just fix my brows a little bit, okay? <laughs> so here, and I'm go gonna grab the Maggie, and I'm actually gonna put it in my little, um, in my little mixing bowl right here, just a couple of drops. <laughs> okay guys, I'm just grabbing this brush head right here and I'm gonna dip it into the Maggie. <sighs> Look at that. Dipping a little bit more into the Maggie. <gasps> guys, it's not... Oh! Look at that, it's not bad at all. Okay, now I'm gonna do the upper brow. Oh, you know, the upper line. Guys, that's, oh, check out my brow. It's not an awful brow at all. Check it out. And guys, don't think I'm lying, like I'm literally using just this, like. <laughs> Because we can't conceal, we're going, we're doing it as close as possible, as neat as we can. Guys, if you didn't see this video, would you know I did my brows with Maggie? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so guys, our brows are done, and we're just going to continue, and we're going to start doing eyeshadow. I did prime my eyes with the avocado oil, and I'm going to put a little bit of baking powder just to have a base for my eyeshadow. Okay, here's the baking powder. I'm just putting 
guys honestly i don't know what this is gonna look like so yo we're literally just discovering what this is gonna look like uh the baking powder as a eyeshadow base together let's start to use the baking powder as our base and because it's food it's gonna fly a lot so you're probably gonna have to pack a bunch in there so this is what it's looking like with a few taps it's crusty crunchy crusty <laughs> quickly gonna do the other side CK. Yeah. you got me crazy your love so addicting up next up next i'm grabbing some cocoa powder that i'm gonna fluff into my crease <laughs> Cocoa powder. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Tapping the excess of food, and here we go. Oh, guys, look at that. Can y'all see the color? I can see it. We can definitely see it. Look how it smoothed out my face, guys. That's cocoa powder. Oh, I love how flawless it's starting to look. Mm, it smells like chocolate. I just want to eat a cake right now then. Okay, guys, up next, we are going to use turmeric for our, our shadow color, uh, bright yellow. We're going to cut our crease using the avocado oil as our base. I'm just literally just dipping the brush into the avocado oil. You don't want to put too much or it's going to drip into your eye. Do the same for the other eye. And we don't really don't have to be precise with our crease here. Because shit, it's food. Bam. We cut the crease. I think I put so much oil. So really just a slight amount of the oil. Okay, so now I'm grabbing the turmeric. And I'm just going to press it onto the places where I applied my avocado oil. Definitely smells like turmeric. So obviously we're not gonna be able to get that much pigment. My love, you a blessing, baby. You come in the first place. Just be my lover. Let's conquer the universe. Guys, that's probably gonna be the best we can do because we don't want to put too much to the point it's just gonna fall over our face. So that's our eyeshadow. Mm. Oh, I must see myself, should we put lashes? We'll be back. Okay, up next, we are doing foundation, guys. For foundation today, I am mixing the cocoa powder and the cinnamon. So, cocoa powder and cinnamon, the powder. Mm, smells so good. Once you mix it, you're ready to apply it. I'm just going to tap into a small amount. This is what it's looking like, guys. It's not awful. <laughs> it's definitely been patches. Definitely darker <laughs> than my shade, but you gotta do what you have. You know what? But the thing is, it really is covering though, guys. Making me darker, but it is covering. And you wanna be careful because you don't want the cocoa powder to get in your eyes. Like, honestly, real talk, this foundation is looking better than what I expected. Okay, <laughs> our foundation is done. This is what it looks like close up, guys. Up next, guys, we are contouring. And to contour today, we're using our savior, and it's still the Maggie Cube. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here on the lid, just a couple of drops, a little bit into it, come by the side, just tap it, and then we're gonna mix it. See how it's giving me that dark shadow already? Contouring all the parts where I normally contour. And now we're gonna blend. Damn, that's one harsh contouring. Because think about it, right? Like, in the old days when the women didn't have makeup. I've heard about uh, make doing makeup from um, food in prison like women's prison they would make makeup off of seasonings and adobo and stuff like that so think about it in the old ages when they didn't have makeup they had to come up with things you know to 
you know look pretty and actually fabricate makeup so that's really kind of the idea that I had what if the only thing I had to look pretty was my kitchen pantry like I'll just go in there knowing myself I just look for things so this is what our current store is looking like pretty harsh <laughs> let's not forget to contour our nose Damn, that's our nose contour. Just kidding, we're gonna blend. <laughs> See, but I'm starting to look pretty though, because it's not that horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna grab this fluffy brush and just start to blend my nose contour, or whatever we wanna call it, a little more. So that's what the contour is looking, guys. I'm like, guys. Okay, we have contoured. Now we're going to set our under eyes. Even though we didn't conceal, I feel like we kind of use like a powder foundation. So we're still gonna set our under eyes and we're gonna use baking powder. Okay, so I'm grabbing the uh, baking powder and I'm just gonna put it here. If it decides to set. And we're baking, and we're baking, and we're baking. Hey, literally, because we got cocoa powder on our face, so we're literally baking. We got cocoa powder, we got cinnamon, so we are baking. What's good? But guys, can we get a moment for this brows, though? My brows are on fleek. Out of everything here, a bitch might start using the magic cubes to do her brows. Don't get me wrong. Ooh. So we're going to set that and wait for a couple of seconds for that to set. Guys, I'm thinking, should I put lashes into this look? I hear you guys. Why not? Why not? Why not? So, I'm going to give it to y'all. Okay, guys, I'm grabbing my brush just to clean out our baking. <laughs> ah, baking. Oh. Did I do something? I don't know. And I'm just pressing it. In. I'm pressing it in before removing it. I can feel a light sense of powder there, you know, under my eyes now that I set it, set. Up next, we are doing blush, and for our blush today, we are using paprika. And I'm gonna grab this brush, because it's my favorite brush ever. I love it, I love it, I love it. Just kidding, check it. So I'm just gonna grab this brush with a, a bit of a paprika. If I had it started over, choose my baby girl. Fishing your breakfast in the morning. Put the more good to my donut. Let's go for a ride in this far right car. Guys, I think we I think we should apply lashes. Like somehow in my heart. I feel like I need them lashes. Okay. So up next we're going to do our highlight and to do our highlight guys I am mixing avocado oil and turmeric. with the avocado oil. Bam. And I'm grabbing my brush and I'm gonna mix it all together. Right there, that's what it looks like. Okay, <laughs> I'm so scared of this highlight. Anyways, there we go. Okay. All right. We're doing it the same on the other side. Try out. Up next, we are doing our lipstick, and for lipstick, guys, I am using African Red African Palm Oil, and I am mixing it with the smoked paprika to give us a gloss. And I have the mix right here that I already did, so I'm just going to apply it onto my lips. Yeah, we're putting lashes. I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, our lashes are applied. We only have one step left for this. <laughs> for this challenge or whatever you want to call it. Damn, look at that highlight with the oil. <laughs> Awful. And I'm just going to grab my hands and just put it in the mix. This is what it looks like. And just apply it. It's like a gloss. The reason why I did it before is because I wanted it to have time to rest and the paprika to really melt inside. This is what the lipstick looks like. So guys, this is the final result. Um, the 
highlight is looking funny as hell. I do drip, drip, drip. Can't do drip, drip, drip. Can't do drip, drip, drip. Diamonds on my wrist, they dripping. Ice. Can't do drip, drip, drip. So I didn't have a better idea to do the highlights, so it's looking pretty shitty. But at least it's shiny, right? Yeah, so the reason why I really wanted to do this challenge is because when you think about it, um, hundreds, of, hundreds of years ago, uh, many women didn't really have all the resources that we have today. Uh, they weren't able to buy lashes or they weren't able you know, to, you know, to have foundation or lipstick and all of that. And they had to come up with, you know, makeup from natural ingredients. They had to make it themselves, literally. And they were using everything they could, spices, uh, food, anything that could just really make them look pretty. And they were really trying, you know? And then another thing is that many women in prison uh, use a lot of seasonings and spices to do their makeup because they, they don't really have a choice. Sometimes, you know, think about the fact that if you're stranded, you still want to look good. You're still living your best life out there. And you have to do with what you have. You know, this is just a, a way to say that whatever you have you can make you can always make something out of it like I, I'm wearing makeup right now someone might look at me outside and say oh my god her makeup is so awful but I know I'm wearing it I know I tried I know I worked on my look and that's really what matters you know I had so much fun filming this to this challenge and I hope you guys take it up on yourself to think about oh what would I do if I'm stranded? Go to your kitchen pantry, look for things that you can actually do your makeup with. You can look pretty, you can feel good. Try to look, try to figure out, think about ways that how can I make this work with my skin. That just goes to say that as women, we will always find a way. We are powerful. We are so powerful that no matter what, no matter what situation we are in, we always find a way. I found a way to do my full face of makeup with seasonings and spices only and so can you. Show me how if you were stranded, you'll be able to do something with your face. You'll be able to look pretty. You'll be able to look your best to have makeup on. You know, nobody else, if I go outside, they would not know I have makeup on my face. They would just think, oh my God, her makeup looks weird. You know, but I know when you think I have makeup on. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, and leave me a comment down in the section below. What do you think you would do if you were stranded and you still wanted to look pretty? What condiments, what spices, seasoning would you use? But guys, those brows though, I think we're gonna start using Maggie to do our brows. <laughs> yeah, so tell me what spices you would use or, you know, just recreate your own video where you can show me what you can do with spices, with your kitchen pantry as makeup. Okay, thank you guys so much and I love you. Mwah. Guys, so I was thinking, now that my face has all this marinade on it, would it be easier to season my food? Well, not in a minute. <laughs> Let's see if all the seasoning gets on the chicken. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, but look, there is seasoning right there. So if you want to season your chicken, just... just chicken, stop! Just... Uh, Slap it onto your face. Just being silly.